How's it going everyone? Uh, Shane Magnuson here, Northwest Bait and Scent. I want to go over some aid curing uh, using our new Zilla Bait products. Um, and I also wanted to go over cutting our baits uh, into ready to use baits and scenting them before we go fishing. So a couple little different things here. Um, egg curing really starts off with how you prepare the eggs right out of the fish. One of the things you want to do is make sure you bleed the fish really well right after catching them. And then uh, once you pull the eggs out of the fish, uh, wrap them in some paper towel. This is going to help pull any excess blood off the skein and create a much uh, better egg. Now, how long can these stay in here? Uh, no longer than really 24 hours, but I prefer to make sure I get cure on these eggs um, within the first six or eight hours after pulling them out of the fish. So pull them out, wrap them in some paper towel, let them sit for maybe an hour or two in the fridge, and then uh, make sure you get them cured up pretty quickly. So let's start this off. We're gonna roll these fresh skeins out from this morning. Um, these are from Fall Chinook here below Bonneville Dam. Now you're gonna see on here that we have some blood still left in these skeins. Now you can do a couple different things. You can cut that blood out uh, with a knife and just uh, take that blood right off there and get that off. Get that little piece of stuff off there and then wipe it down with a with a paper towel help get some of that blood out but the key is is get as much of it off as possible the blood is what makes the skin the smell of it kind of go bad a bit more off here once you've uh, wiped down those skeins then you're going to want to take and uh, butterfly those skeins open so that the cure gets on all the eggs so I use a fillet knife, some people use scissors, so you can use a couple of different methods. But on the inside of the skein, in, where you're not touching the membrane, the membrane's holding all the eggs together. You want to slice the skein open so that it comes right open like so. And you can do it just a little bit more. This butterfly as it open exposes all the eggs on the inside of the skein. Same way on this one. This one's pretty well exposed already. There we go. And that opens up those skeins to uh, get all the cure around the eggs and make sure it's cured all the way through and nothing in the middle of the skein is left uncured to get freezer burned or, uh, or go bad. So um, one of my favorite ones I've been using lately is the Red Raz salmon salmon cure now there's quite a few different colors uh, there's a blurple now this is kind of more of a dark purpley raspberry color um, works really well in dirty water or glacier type water uh, this is a real a crush orange color this turns out a really nice natural color looking egg kind of like how they come out of the fish that's what that crush orange turns out and then we got this bad ash blend and that's going to turn out a, a more iridescent red reddish pink egg so some different colors there to play with red raz going on now on the cure uh, make sure you go light uh, more is often or less is often better make it uh, make sure it's covered i i say it's like uh, seasoning a good steak before you put it on the grill you want it good and covered with some seasoning but you don't want it just overwhelmingly covered so coming in here we're going to just take a nice light sprinkle here make sure this is nice and then you can see it start to show up Nice light sprinkle here. I'll do this skein too. Now, then I'll take, now that we have some cure on these eggs, I'll take and kind of rub them with my fingers, make sure the cure is on them, soaked in a little bit there. 
And we're gonna flip these guys over. Get a little gear on the back side. Like so. Same thing, nice light sprinkle. A little bit of cure goes a long ways. All right, stick that back in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, stick these skeins into a Ziploc. And we're gonna let them, we're gonna shake them up and let them cure. So into a Ziploc to go. Give these things a good shake. Make sure that here is worked into them, kind of nice and evenly covered and starting to juice a little bit. You can kind of see in the bag now that it, they're starting to get already get nice in color and the, starting to show up. Now, what you want to do is take the air out of this, kind of roll it up, get the air out. So it's so it's sitting like this. And then let them cure 12 hours in room temperature and they'll be ready to fish the next day. So don't set them in direct sun, set them someplace where it's you know 65 to 75 degree temperature in the house, out of the sun, on a bait fridge. And uh, let these cure overnight. Now I like to flip them once or twice as I'm, you know, get after dinner, walk out, flip them over, make sure the juice works through them. Maybe once before again before bed, flip them over again, let the juice work through them. And the next morning these fish should have the juice all sucked up and ready to fish. Um, if you do cure them in the refrigerator, it is going to take two to three days. The, the colder air temperature in the fridge makes them take a little longer, uh, but it doesn't affect it at all. You just got to flip them once in a while and it takes a couple days and no problem in the curing process. So that's how we do the cure. We're going to set these aside for a bit and we're going to throw some scent on some eggs on some eggs we cured here the other day. Oh, hold me out another paper towel. Put on some more gloves. So, we got our tub we're going to put eggs in and get ready to fish. These eggs are curing over here. These ones have been in the fridge for about three days after I, they got finished curing. And about the three day mark is you either want to use them or, or, get, rid of, or uh, get them ready to get frozen. So, we're going to use these ones. These are ones here I did in Red Raz here a couple days ago. Turned out all cured out all nice. And we're gonna cut this into baits. So we're gonna take this skein, I'm gonna start right here. And I like, oh, about ping pong to golf ball size baits. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna cut me some baits. Um, Make sure you have some skein attached to each one. There's some baits in there getting ready to go. And let's do, do a few more. All right, that'll get us started. Right, throw this back in the bag. All right, so now you've got some baits all cut up in, in here in your tub. And this is the morning of going fishing. So we pulled these out of the fridge. We cut some baits. We're getting ready to get on the boat or go to the bank. 
Let's throw some scent on these. This is where I like to scent the eggs. I would do it the morning of fishing so that uh, the, the fish oil scents have a little bit of time to soak in, but they don't uh, make the eggs start juicing overnight. So one of my favorites, um, I really like using the sand shrimp scent and I really like using the tuna belly. These are my probably my two favorites on eggs. So we're gonna throw a little sand shrimp on here. On the scent, you don't have to get over crazy. So, you know, just a nice little drizzle over the top with the Graybill sand shrimp. Just before you go fishing. And then those are going to be scented up and ready to go, ready to use. Here when you get out on the water, um, let them sit for, you know, a half hour as you're putting the bait in the cooler in the morning. As you're putting the boat in the water, it's kind of your pre-prep time, throw some scent on there. Now, I like options. Obviously, we did this tub with sand shrimp. Um, I'll a lot of times do another tub with the, the tuna belly. And uh, sometimes I like uh, like throwing some garlic in. So I'll grab some of the Slam and Sam's tuna garlic and do a tub with that. And give those fish some options. You got a couple skeins in there, cut some baits and put together two or three tubs with different scents to really uh, really throw at your fish and see what they want for that day. Um, so now you got uh, got your eggs curing. This is uh, how we use the Zillow bait stuff and uh, and then pre-scenting your bait before you go fishing. Um, follow us on Northwest Bait and Scent on Facebook and Instagram and uh, hope to see you guys on the water.